Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'd like to check out with you how to make a knot in the silks without using our hands, so doing it aerially just by using our feet. And it will look just like this. And why would this be useful? So firstly, it might be useful if we want to do a cool trick higher up that requires a knot. So that way we can choose the height at which we have the knot as opposed to doing it with our hands from the ground. The next thing is also a little bit of a surprise effect. If you're doing it like with your hands, like everyone can see, okay, there's a knot there and you're just gonna enter it now. But if we do it with our feet, the knot just appears out of nowhere. People might be thinking like, oh, what are you doing there right now? But you're actually doing the knot. And lastly, it might also be that depending on where you hung up your silks, you cannot even stand on the ground there. So if you have them hanging over water or something, well, you can't really do that knot from the ground then by using your hands, so you just need a little alternative here. So let's check it out. So firstly, we want to climb up the silks, and you can climb up any ways you want. Just make sure that you're ending the climb with a Russian climb. So your last climb should be a Russian climb because we want to work from there. Also make sure that you are climbing high enough because when we are doing the knot later and pulling it tight with our feet, we're actually going to lose a bit of height there as well. So just make sure that you're high enough. Of course, when you're trying this out for the first time, you can just do it a little bit lower and just focus on actually getting it right. And then later on, when you feel very secure and when it feels like you understood the movement and you can do it really safely, take it up higher. So when we're standing in our Russian climb here, we want to bend our legs and just sit down into it, making sure that the silk pole stays in between our legs. Now we also want to lean towards the side of the leg that is on top in that Russian climb. So this might feel a bit weird at first or a little bit painful. So just make sure you're comfortable with this position before you're moving on. Once you feel safe in this position, you can also try to let go with your hands. Just let go of one hand first, see how it feels and then slowly take off the other hand as well and just see what it feels like really lean into it to not fall out of it and if this feels all good we can move on again so now we want to bring the silk tail over our upper body and we are doing so by sliding it over our top or the inside arm and afterwards we re-grab the silk pole with that top arm and come back up onto the silk so getting out of that leaning position now we want to switch our hands so now it's the hand that was on the bottom before that is holding onto the silk pole and just make sure that you are keeping your feet together this whole time so the placement of the feet has not changed since we've started to do the wrapping so now the last wrap that we did it should be between your upper body and the silk pole with the silk falling down on the side of your bottom foot so now we want to grab the tail with a free hand and then place it in between our knees. Now we want to re-grab the silks a little bit higher up and then we're coming to the tricky part of all of this. So we're starting off by just standing up slightly and making sure that we are pulling with our arms so we are transferring our weight from our feet into our arms so that we can move our feet freely here. Now the top foot comes off the bottom foot and pulls the silks away from it to the side. Make sure you don't lose the silks here because we want to bring the tail through the gap that we created here now with what was our bottom foot before. So now that bottom foot scoops around the tail and we want to scoop from the outside to be able to pull the tail through the gap. And then we can stand down on it gently. So just transfer a bit of the weight out of your hands back into your feet again to be able to pull down this little loop that we created. At the same time, we are bringing the other leg out of there so it doesn't get trapped in our knot. So by putting weight onto that loop, we make the knot tighter and we're basically finishing it off here. So let's just go over this once more. So we get into our Russian climb, bending our legs, making sure the silk pole is in between our legs here. Then we want to tilt to the side and here we will notice how the silk comes into our hip crease as we are tilting. This will help us hold this position because we are basically lying on top of that silk with that hip crease. So we really have to lean over to not fall back out of it. Now the outside hand reaches for the silk tail to pass it over the inside arm and like this over the whole upper body. So that way when we re-grab the silk pole now 
and bring our upper body back up again. We can see that that silk tail is running over our upper thighs. Now we want to again switch hands and then with the free hand placing the silks in between our legs and then we reach up with both arms and pull our body slightly up here or we kind of yeah start to stand up here just to be able to create space where we have the wrappings at the feet to be able to well see what we are doing down there. So now the top foot moves away to the side to create that gap again and the other foot is responsible for bringing that tail through the gap. So that way we are creating a loop here and by standing down on it we are tightening the knot. So to push down again we're transferring our weight from our arms back into our legs so we are standing on our legs again not hanging off the arms and that's it there we go we've got our knot. So just notice how important it is to actually transfer the weight from our legs into our arms to be able to move the legs freely to create the knot and later to tighten the knot by basically bringing the weight down into our legs again. Also be aware of the fact that the knot that we create is very very tight like a lot tighter than doing it with our hands. Sometimes it will pop open just really easily. You can just do like a Russian climb on a silk tail, hold on to the silk pole and then basically just lower your legs down pulling the knot open again but if you notice that the knot is just too tight for that just come onto the ground and then try to undo it with your arms so you can just pull each silk tail into an opposite direction which will help loosening it sometimes you might ask someone else to help you out here as well which will make this a little bit easier so just be aware of that have fun with this little knot and see you soon bye